ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part four of Paperboy. Here we go. What you're going to do is you are going to go up to the plus and add the newspaper. And you can throw that out there. And you're going to add the Paperboy Player 2, which is basically like the game over icon for the player. Okay, so we'll go up to appearance on him. We will turn solid off. We'll name him Player Game Over. Okay. And then you're going to go on the newspaper, you're going to turn solid off. You can call it newspaper just to simplify the letters. If it's a really long name and it's in the events, it gets a little bit confusing and you'll see that later on for anything that I forgot to name. Okay. Uh, but yeah, solid is off on that. Uh, we'll put that in a class called newspapers. Save class. Okay, we can close that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on the player, or we're going to add the player, sorry. Uh, let's see, we want to do Paperboy Player 1, drag him in. Now if we zoom in a little bit and we see what this is going to look like when we're playing, go away. Alright, so something like that, that's actually pretty good. Just put him in the center of the road the best you can, okay. Uh, we'll call him just Player, he's a player. Uh, what we'll do is we'll add a behavior to him and we'll call it, not what we'll call it, but we will add a behavior called control pad. And we're going to turn that speed down to about 1.2-ish, 1.23, that's fine. Uh, and we're going to make it so you can only move left and right, so not all directions, left and right. And then you're going to add a bordered circle. So basic shapes, bordered circle. This bordered circle is going to be appearance. We'll call this player collider. We'll turn solid off. Make this 0 0.07 by 0 0.07. And that should be put in the class called border and trigger. All right. Now that's going to move on to the player. So when he hits a car, it's, it will collide with the actual player now. Uh, both of them should be solid, so uh, did I turn solid off actually? I did turn solid off. Yeah, that should be solid off. Yeah, you don't need a solid on if it's a collider. Sorry about that. Um, so that'll go right there. When he hits a car, it'll be the game over. Okay, so the car has to actually hit that collider. All right. Uh, next thing is going to be on the player, you're going to go add another behavior called join, which I think we've used before earlier in this tutorial. And you will join this to that player collider. Where is it? Player collider. Okay, so those two are joined together. So as you're moving with the player, you're also moving the player collider. Okay. Um, let's see. We added join. And then the last thing we're going to do in this video is we are going to add the uploads paper. We're going to add the throw button. Let's see if it's under something else. There it is. Drag that in. Put that down here somewhere. Okay, go into appearance. Call this button. Well, let's call it throw button just so it's not confusing. Uh, it's going to be on the user interface layer and it's going to be solid off. So, layer user interface. Let's move that back into position. Okay, so now you can see when we hit play that it'll start roughly looking like this. Um, now it's possible that maybe we don't want that to be so far zoomed in when we're doing it. Okay, so that doesn't change. So we're probably going to want to move our player up a little bit then and our collider. Because as I'm hitting play here, I'm noticing that it's on top of the joystick and you want to be able to see your player. All right, so that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next part. Later.